Hamish Marshall struck 118 but couldn't prevent Gloucestershire losing to Kent. Gloucestershire resumed precariously placed on 34 for 4, but Marshall and Mustard dug in to lead the resistance movement, with Marshall displaying a range of lovely offside shots. Mustard had frustrated the Kent bowlers, but eventually fell for 9 from 49 deliveries, caught by Dixon off Claydon. Gloucestershire were 94 for 5 at lunch, and after the break new man Jack Taylor found the boundary, whilst Marshall brought up his 50, as it became increasingly clear that Gloucestershire's hopes of saving a draw largely rested on the shoulders of the New Zealander. Marshall and Jack Taylor continued to build their partnership and the pair had batted for almost 20 overs and added 46 runs when Taylor was caught by Billings off Coles for 22. Miles was the new batsman and with close catchers circling found the boundary before watching as Marshall struck a series of fours behind square on both sides of the wicket. Miles was out for 15 when he was bowled by one from Villoon that kissed the top of off stump. Marshall kept going though alongside new man Payne, clipping one to the fine leg fence and then smashing one back over Treadwell's head. Marshall pushed a wide delivery to the offside boundary to continue his one-man defiance of Kent's chase for victory, reaching an excellent 100, the 29th of his first-class career. Marshall lost another partner when Payne, aiming to hit Treadwell out of the ground, was bowled by the spinner. Marshall pulled one for four, but was left ducking for cover when new batsman Norwell swatted away a full toss from Denley. Not long after tea, Marshall's brilliant knock was over, leg before to Coles for 118. With only Matt Taylor for company, Norwell hit out, but the match was over when Norwell was caught by Billings off Villoon for 24, Matt Taylor unbeaten on 7. Kent the winners by an innings and 69 runs, whilst Gloucestershire will rue the fact that aside from Marshall none of their batsmen reached 40 in either innings. Kent taking the maximum possible 24 points from this game to keep up their promotion chase and move into second in the table. Gloucestershire take just two points.